Hollywood, the Red Skelton Show, with David Rose and his orchestra, and Red's guest stars, John Carradine and Franklin Pangborn. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, I'd like to thank Walter Winchell for the nice thing he said in his column, and I'd like to thank Dinah Shore for using one of my paintings on her show. It's really been hot out here in California, you folks that are coming out. We went swimming on Sunday, and my wife wore one of those new sack swimming suits, you know? <laughs> I got arrested for seining without a license. <laughs> sportsman show out here and they had a fellow that climbs up a 150 foot ladder and he dives into this small uh, little tank like that so they asked anybody in the audience want to do it so they all looked at me and I you know big show off <laughs> I climb up this 150 foot ladder and I took one you know it's harder to climb down a ladder than it is to climb down. <laughs> and then we now have major league baseball out here at last <laughs> and the way the Dodgers are playing that's the way they're gonna wind up <laughs> I went out there, there was uh, 78,000 people watching the game and 10,000 saw it. <laughs> oh, this place is so big, this Coliseum, I'll tell you, it's so big that they've got restroom on the way to the restroom. <laughs> I really didn't get to see much of the game myself. I was way up on the top, you know, and the satellite kept blocking my view. <laughs> Hey, I got one joke to tell you about a little boy play, uh, 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 playing baseball. He's out there playing baseball. Uh, one of the little Richard type he's in his little kitchen. Ball one, ball two, ball three, ball four. You is out. He says, what do you mean I is out? He said, the base is loaded. I got no place to put. <laughs> a little pantomime scene now of an old man and a little boy and it has to do with baseball and you have to imagine the fence and everything and uh, this is called my Valentina special scene. Here we go. <laughs> Somewhere in this city lives a little old man and a little boy. <laughs> Close companions were these two. Many things they had in common such as being childlike and sharing a love for baseball. They wanted to see the ball game, but they just didn't have the price of admission. Only a knot hole through which they watched the game. It's a hit. It's going out to center field. It's going to hit the fence. <laughs> but the old man reached for his eye medicine. <laughs> it was known as his eye opener. <laughs> batter is up. And there's the pitch. The ball is a high fly. It's going over the fence. story is beware of pop flies. They are not male insects with blessed events.
When your work is done and you're tired, we can help unburden your mind. From the time that you get inspired, you will leave your troubles behind. Heart is sweet the nation. It's exciting and quaint. Every native can be creative with nothing but a brush and paint. You can be a sensation. You don't have to be good. Just put a black beret on your head today. Be meticulous or ridiculous. Art is sweeping the nation from Brooklyn to Hollywood. that little branch would hold us. <laughs> oh, Clem, you made me sick. You're about as romantic as a, as a turtle. Well, turtles are pretty romantic, you know. Turtles? Yeah. You'd be surprised what goes on underneath that shell. <laughs> I'm going home. Well, wait, I'll help you over the fence. Here. Here we are. Oh, Clem, <laughs> doesn't this give you any ideas? Yeah. <laughs> I think... I think I'll put a gate on this fence. You're getting kind of heavy. Oh! That's right on my toe. Oh, my youngest one. Did I say something wrong? Ah, <laughs> uh, this should make a beautiful paint. You do pardon me, madam. Madam! Look, my simple-minded rustic friend, I am not a woman. Oh? I am Gregory Grumbucker. I'm a man. A man? Well, then you better get out of that dress before you get arrested. <laughs> it's not a dress, it's a smock. Oh. I happen to be a painter. Oh, I well, paint, paint trees. I paint rivers. I paint cows. Really? Well, don't paint our cows. We like them the color they are. <laughs> hey, did that your Adam's apple or did you swallow a yo-yo? <laughs> Go away and leave me alone. Oh, I'm going to paint that barn. You're going to paint that barn? Yes. With that? <laughs> Why, for heaven's sake, that'll take you ten years. Just how stupid can you get? Oh, I don't know. How old are you? <laughs> I've got my whole life before me, I mean. I don't oh, know. Why don't you go away? Go I'll on, go home. home. Wait a minute. Why go home? I live here. This is my farm. Oh, then you must be Clem Cadiddle. That's the... Cadiddle Hopper. <laughs> Always spinach. Gee, that's like playing tiddlywinks without a tiddly, you know. <laughs> Ping pong without a pong, you know. Cadiddle Hopper is your name. Cadiddle Very Hopper. well, Mr. Cadiddle Hopper. Yes. You just stand out of the way and watch me. You may learn something. Oh, really? Going to learn something? <laughs> what do you think I'll learn? <coughs> What's that, a blonde riding a horse in the snow? What is it? <laughs> Here. I shouldn't have done that. You'll probably want to do a hangnail sketch. <laughs> That's too good, David. That's too bad. That's too bad. Yeah. You idiot. Wait. What matter? What a face. What? What a subject. Who? That face. Those eyes. Yeah? That red hair. Yeah. Those dimples. You try to kiss me and I'll flap you. <laughs> <laughs> 
for me. Clothes for you, I'd be very happy to hold this. Oh. How about this? Bad. No. How about how about pitiful? No, 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 just forget all about it. Just sit down. Don't, uh, don't, uh, don't think about the posing. Just sit down and try to look natural. No, look natural. Oh, huh? no, don't move. Don't move, all right. We got... No, no. Don't move! Uh, <laughs> There's a treacherous little dickens in there. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. What's wrong with you? Down, down, boy, down, boy. Down. <laughs> Now proceed. There, it's finished. Finished? Have a look. Good heavens, I know that fella. I've seen that face before. Well, certainly it's... Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. It looks like Ma and it looks like Paul. I know who it is. Who? It's my sister Minnie. <laughs> No, it couldn't on account of the mustache. Why, there's no mustache on that picture. I know, but there is on my sister, Minnie. <laughs> well, it may come as a surprise to you, Clem, but uh, this is a picture of you. Me? Say, no wonder Paul makes me lather up and shave every day. Uh, he, that or Minnie would be out uh, plowing up the field, you know. <laughs> I don't want the car to get a mating tube. Oh. Now, don't touch it. Whatever you do, I mean, don't touch it. Wouldn't touch it with a ten-foot pole. Wouldn't touch it, too. I wonder if I could paint a picture. I know what I'll do. I'll use the back of his old canvas there, and I'll use some of his paints and his brushes, and I'll do myself a painting myself. Yeah. That looks like a good one. No, <laughs> oh, Mr. Bad. <laughs> that ain't bad. Ain't bad. I don't know what it is, but it ain't bad. <laughs> Right there, boy. Oh, here comes that painter fellow. I better hurry and turn this around because he sees that he'll get I'm mad. I'm going to send this right off to New York. It's yes. the best picture I ever painted. Me too. Me too. What? I, I mean, it's the best picture I've ever seen. Me too. That is. Yes. Yeah. Boy, you sure were hard to track down. Stephen, <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, I've got a little check for you. Oh. Mm, I sold your picture. Five hundred dollars? I never got more than 50 bucks for a painting in my life. <laughs> you never told me that you went in for surrealism. Surreal? <laughs> you know, when you paint a picture, a picture as great as that, why, uh, why do you have to put a crummy portrait of an idiot on the back? Stevens, uh, I'm sorry, but I'll have to admit that uh, the idiot on the back is probably the one who did the painting on the front. <laughs> Nobody else could have done it. Uh-huh. Well, Gregory, let me tell you one thing. The man who painted that picture <laughs> is the rave of the New York art world. <laughs> that idiot is a gold mine. Oh, mm. and we're going to stake a claim to him, huh? <laughs> ah, claim! I want to meet my agent, Mr. Stevens. He's going to teach you how to work here. I can't find it, Phil. Listen, I can't find it at all. Oh, you're the agent? Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> you know, Clem, do you know what I like to do? What? I like to take you to New York, oh. uh, put you up in a studio, and uh, exploit your potentialities. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Be a great thing for your career, Clem. When would... can you leave? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask Daisy June, my financing. Wait, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, a nice crop of corn. What did you do? Plant the script? <laughs> <laughs> Say, that painter fellow wants me to go to New York. New York? Yes. Oh, where's that? I don't know. Somewhere in Texas, someplace. <laughs> where's Texas? All over, all over. <laughs> You just can't go off and leave me. I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but I gotta stay here. 
can. If you go to New York, you'll become rich. You'll, you'll make a fortune. Hey, a fortune. There's a lot of money in that, ain't there, huh? I'll go tell her. <laughs> He, uh, he says, if I go... <laughs> for this deal, over, I'll probably wear your pucker out, you know. <laughs> he says, if I go, there'll be a fortune in it. But if you stay... Mm -hmm. Oh, well, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I'm staying, I'm staying. I got something going for me here. Now, Clem. <laughs> You'll absolutely be famous. famous. You'll be the toast of the art world. The toast of the uh, art world. Uh, For a crumb like me, that's something. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they say if I go, I'll be the toast of the art world. But... Of course, there's nothing like staying here and get barbecued, is there? <laughs> Sorry, I have to stay. I'm staying. But tell me, you'll have your own penthouse. I will. Chauffeur. Oh, I'll go tell her. Oh, I'm in a dream world. A dream world. <laughs> hey, that's the best kiss of them all. Why? Yes, I'm saying, give me another smack kiss like that. All righty. <laughs> and you can take him to New York. Oh. You can have the painting for ten thousand dollars. Fine, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> another ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, another, another. <clears throat> and you know the orders are coming in so thick and fast we can't take care of them. They will have to raise our prices again <laughs> and make Clem work a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We've got a lot of oil paintings to do. The models are waiting for They're all waiting for me. Good. Miss Jones, Good. Mr. Kennedy will hop on up. Miss Timbers, Mr. Kennedy will hop up. Rather ridiculous, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, better get the work. Uh, but, uh, you better get this. Come on, girls. Work. Mr. Gadiddlehopper is hidden for you when he needs you. Oh, we'll be busy over here right now. Mr. Gadiddlehopper, yes. would you care to do me first? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, get what is it you want me to do, anyhow? Well, uh, paint me, of course. Well, oh, paint you. I like you to color your bright red. There's nothing like a bright red. <laughs> okay, I'll start right now. You can go... Yay! <laughs> I'll paint you right now. We got this. You rang, sir. I didn't ring. I was hitting the drum here. I got the... No wonder the help's been missing. Oh, well, we'll paint a little bit more, a little bit here. Oh, no. but don't wipe it off. It might be a masterpiece. <laughs> Oh, that was a good one, too. Well, there you are. Oh, Oh, I'm dying to see it. You are. There you are. Is that me? That Do you. I look like that? Yes. My name is Jones. Other artists paint what they see, but Mr. Cadiddlehopper, <laughs> he paints what he feels. But I'm not feeling very well today. <laughs> Out, 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 out. Thank there you. we go. Yes, sir. Get this out of the way here. Ready for the here. What happened? It's Santa Monica Landslide. <laughs> I introduce a distinguished patron of the arts, Mrs. Mrs. Davenport. And Mrs. Davenport? <laughs> you sure are overstuffed, I'll tell you. Stepping <laughs> aside, I'd like to see who's talking. Oh, there you are. Oh, boy, is he over-exaggerated. Good heavens. <laughs> I like those seat covers. It's very nice. Well, you could step on a penny scale and the 1958 budget would come out. Boy. What do you think I am? 
What do I think you're? A peanut? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Davenport has just donated an art museum to the city. No, you got it on you? Yes, and oh. I've chosen you to paint the mural in the main lobby. You don't That's say. That's a tremendous honor, Clem. Oh. Oh. Uh, make him another Rembrandt, Michelangelo, another Da Vinci. Another Paganini. Paganini was a violinist. Well, truthfully, all of us artists like to fiddle around a little, you know. <laughs> I'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, will be the Kedittelhopper mural. It will cover the entire wall. Uh, is it true, Mrs. Davenport, that you are paying $250,000 for this mural? Yes, that's right. Uh, mm. You also paid a half a million dollars for this statue, is that right? Yes, half a million dollars. And it's worth far more. Half a million dollars for what? Why, for this statue. Charlie here! Oh, Oh, yeah. It lived through the fall of Greece, oh. the sack of Rome, oh. the invasion of France, and the battle of Britain. Oh. Well, if faith it, we all got to go through the world. <laughs> when Clem's masterpieces on that wall, it'll more than make up for your loss. Oh, I hope so. Yes. I gotta get the word. You better everybody get started. Yeah, all right, Clem. Oh, everybody yeah. out. Come on. Everybody out. I gotta work for you. Get up, man. I gotta work for you. I gotta work. Bring in my ladder, will you, funny boy? Bring it right in there, put it right up there, will you? I'll start it off. Thank you there. Thank you, you Thelma. I can't help it. That's <laughs> if I could help it to a little one reeler. <laughs> <You know. laughs> his mural and I know I just know that it will live up to the wonderful traditions of this museum oh shut up Pat <laughs> <laughs> you like it don't you you this like it the little you little like it don't you is that your idea of a mural I knew you a what a mural mural I thought you said a mural <laughs> Back in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> May we thank the makers of Johnson's Wax for making our visit possible and remind you that they also bring you the Steve Allen program over another network. <laughs> Anything coming through? will be brought to you by our alternate sponsors, the makers of Pet Milk, and there she is. Go! The Red Skelton Show. Produced by Cecil Barker. Directed by Seymour Burns. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse Goldstein, Dave O'Brien, Red Skelton.
instructions for the preceding program have been pre-recorded. This is Art Gilmore speaking. Ed Skelton shows the CBS Television Network production.